Well, hey guys, welcome to Hilltop Machine Works. I am Tom. Come on in. Hey everybody, it's uh, Tom here, and we are back in the shop. We just had a rust job come in, so let me show you what we got going on here. Got a couple rails, and these came out of a customer's square baler. Um, it is the middle of May that I'm filming this. And hopefully you can hear this. I don't want the dog out there. He's barking up a storm. But anyway, so um, <laughs> he was having some issues with it. And hopefully you can see why. <laughs> this is uh, one of the rails. And here is the other one that a basically a, an arm with bearings. One bearing rides on this rail, the other bearing obviously rides on this rail. And what this arm does is it has forks, and as the hay is uh, picked up by fingers and stuck on a tray, so to speak, these two arms come down and shove the hay into a chute. And the hay then is compacted, and once it's at the right size of the bale, then the wire is timed and it's shot out the back. So, um, thank goodness it has been raining the last couple of days, so he can't uh, obviously bale hay. And as soon as it dries out in the next day or two, then hopefully he wants to get up and running. So, we're going to try to uh, repair these and get him up and going here. So. But uh, let me bring the camera in a little bit closer and show you, I think, what our plan of attack is going to be here. So hopefully you can see this a little bit better. So I think what we want to do is go ahead and cut this out. And this is one inch. I got some one inch flat bar here. So we'll cut this that sec bad section out here, weld in this one inch, and then obviously we'll build up some weld here, grind it, get her, because what matters is this rail here, because the bearing's riding on it. This is actually going to be mounted to the side wall, so we can reinforce it underneath if need be, but this part has to be obviously true to the world so the Baron rides good. So that'll be the plan of attack on this one. And the other one pretty much I'm gonna get in frame here. Pretty much the same thing. So as you can see she got munched pretty good. Um, we're gonna cut out this section here all the way to let me get back in frame over to here and let me turn you over. There you go, look at that. And then do the same thing, weld in a piece right there. And while we're at it, we'll straighten this up a little bit. This is the side that obviously gets bolted to the uh, back wall. So that'll be the plan of attack. We'll get this thing knocked out and uh, get him up and running. Here's a, a better shot of the uh, munched area. So, hopefully you can see, I think I'm going to do is, see this line here, and then this line here, take this section out here, it's about 11 inches, and I'm just going to simply cut it out with a four and a quarter grinder with a thin wheel on it. Alrighty, I got this piece cut out, now I'm just going to grind her out, clean her up a little bit. Simple grinding, but you guys might want to watch it.
you get the hang of it, I'll bring you back once I'm done. So I got it all ground out, um, and this is the setup I've got. I figure I'd update you guys. So the underside is the part that the bearing's going to ride under. So that's the important part. So we got to make sure this is obviously level uh, with the original piece that we're getting ready to weld in. So this is my setup, and got it all cleaned up. Mill scales off of it, so get her tacked up. And then obviously I can weld her up good and on the inside here. This is not going to matter. And um, I've got her pretty straight. It was a little bit bent and tweaked. So I've got her clamped down so hopefully she won't move. And then uh, once the customer bolts this to the, to the wall, that will help straighten it out a little bit too. But I want to make sure it's as straight as possible before I weld it up and you know have the weld pull it. And, and he's fighting it to uh, get it bolted on. So let me get some uh, tacks on here and um, get going. There she is all welded up on the back side. I just would stitch weld it, do an inch here, inch there, and order to cool. I don't want to warp it. So finally, after about 15 minutes of that, uh, we are done. So let me get this thing flipped over and then we'll uh, get that top edge. So I got her flipped around and here's the setup I'm using right here. And all I'm gonna do, bring you in there is, what I'll do is we'll fill in that top ridge and then we'll fill in that side right there and then that side right there and we'll grind her flat and I think we'll uh, have us uh, one rail done well got the uh, last bit of stitch weld here we'll knock this out and this uh, will be done didn't want to bore you with all the welding but here you go do a couple inches Alrighty, we'll uh, let her cool down and then uh, we'll get these clamps off of her, grind down the welds, and this one will be done and we can start on the next rail. Well, I've just been uh, cleaning up the welds, just using a, uh, a flap disc. These are uh, Walters. And if you haven't tried them, you ought to give them a try. I think these are probably the best ones on the market. I've used several different brands and these guys. These guys will last a long time, so get you some Walter flap discs. You'll be glad you did. So anyway, she's nice and smooth. Transition feels good. So this one is done. So I am going to get this unclamped, and we'll get on the next one over there. Okay, let's uh, get to number two. I've got the uh, first one out there with a coat of paint on it drying. So as you can see, this one's seriously bunched. It's worse off than the other one, even though it's a little bit straighter, it's just got a bad part right here. And we're at about, we got to cut out we're on nearly two feet of this. So once I do that, I can get this bolt out and we can hammer this straight. Because like I said, this part here is going to be bolted to the side of the wall, so it's not critical that it's perfect. I mean, this is the part that the bearing rides on, this is what needs to be right. So let me get this marked out and clamped down and I'll bring you guys back and we'll just cut her out. Well it's pretty jacked up so I've got it so I'm trying to straighten it out enough so I can actually cut into it. So I've got it clamped down and I'm just trying to get her about halfway decent so I can get into it do it justice here. Once 
can get her down, you can see how bad she's all folded up. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm just working it. So I'll bring you guys back uh, after I get her halfway decent. Well, I beat her out and I've got her halfway straight. So now I can get her all cut out of there. Um, it's a little warm, so that noise you hear, I got the fans running. And for all you guys that are going to want to talk to me about, hey, you're not, you're running a grinder without a guard. Yes, you are correct. But to help protect myself, obviously I've got my apron on, which is thick. I've got these gloves here. These are metal and laced gloves, so they're cut and uh, hopefully impact resistant. So if that wheel would, would break, it wouldn't cut through the glove and cut my finger off. And I am wearing a full face shield. So let's get this thing done. Continue down and cut that thing off. Let's get her off. Sweet. Let's uh, flip her up. I'm going to clean that top and we'll get a piece of the new stock cut out and put in there and we'll start tack welding it in place. Well, here you go. I had to get uh, creative again on this setup because it's such a long span. Uh, you see I've got a one by one square piece of stock. Guess I'll move you in uh, behind this thing right here. You notice. So I got a good reference point basically here and then over here. So got everything clamped, good with the world, metal is cleaned up. So I'm just going to start getting this thing tacked in here. Hopefully she won't pull. I got enough clamps on her. I think she'll be good. So we'll take it easy, do a couple stitches here and there, and then let her cool down. That worked on the last one, so I think that's going to be the plan of attack here.
Alrighty, I'm gonna keep pecking away. I'll bring you guys back uh, when I get her done. All right, bring you along. Got uh, about two and a half inches to stitch up, and we're done. totally cool down because I sure don't want to take the clamps off with it warm and then have it uh, boing, twist on me so we'll just have to let her cool down and come back take a break it cooled down and now I've got it flipped over got it clamped down so now I'm basically going to uh, weld up that outer edge I'm not going to bore you with it because I'm just going to stitch weld it let it cool and then stitch and cool so I don't bow it. It already wants to pull, so. Got her all welded up, so now it's just uh, time to let it cool. So hopefully it won't uh, pull into a spaghetti noodle, noodle when I uh, unclamp this thing. <laughs> That's a big section I had to take out of that thing, so. You know, fingers crossed. So, I'll bring you guys back uh, once it cools and we'll uh, Knock down the welds, clean her up, put some paint on her, and uh, I'll call the customer and say, come get them. Well, there you go. Two baler rails repaired with some paint on them. They're drying, so the uh, customer is going to uh, come grab them in a little bit. I know he'll be happy, so now he can get his baler up and running. And um, he can get the, the stuff bailed that he needs to get bailed. So with that guys, I appreciate you following along with the project. It's just a little quickie. But uh, hey, you know, that's what sometimes you gotta do. You gotta get the customer happy and get his stuff out the door. So um, you know, the reputation gets out that they know they can bring their stuff here, so it works out perfect. Hey, give me a thumbs up if you like this stuff. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed already. Tell your friends about the channel. We do a lot of fun stuff here, have a lot of good times, and uh, you know, knock out some interesting projects. So until then, I'll see you guys later.